this tree is a red oyster dogwood. First thing you're going to do is you use a tag to identify it. So there's a coded tag. First three letters are the site. This stands for Sobble Bayfield. Second letter and numbers is fall 2016, which is when it was planted. And last two numbers are for the number of the tree. So this is tree number 11. Next thing you're going to do is take measurements. So the first measurement you're going to take is root color. You're going to use a caliper to do it. You're going to take the jaws of the caliper and you're going to fit them nicely against the root color, which is where the stem meets the ground. And you're going to draw it out and you're going to read it using this dot right here. So this is 11 millimeters. Next measurement you're going to take is the height of the tree. So you're going to use a measuring tape for that. Make sure to find zero on these. There's a metal part obscuring zero. So that goes right at the bottom. And you're going to follow any curves all the way to the top. So you're going to measure the tallest stem. So you're not going to measure the leaves because those will fall off. But you're going to measure right to the top here. So this one right to the top of the branch is 111 centimeters. Next measurement that you'll see on a data sheet is diameter at breast height. The, these shrubs are too small for that, but diameter at breast height is measured by do, going from the ground up to 130 centimeters, so up here, and you're going to use the caliper again. So again, if this was 130 centimeters here, you just do this with this upper stem, just lightly take it out and measure, and that's referred to as DBH, diameter at breast height. And then final measurement you're going to do is crown width. So again, with the measuring tape, first one you're going to do is the greatest width. So on this tree, I think it's going to be this way. 14 and a half centimeters. And then next measurement is going to be perpendicular to that. So if this is crown width one, crown width two is going to be at a right angle to this. From here to here is five centimeters. Next thing you're going to do is a health assessment. So first thing is the shrub alive or dead. This one is alive. A good way to tell is that there's leaves and the bark looks healthy. Next thing you're going to see if there's any browsing. So browsing is when a little animal usually will munch on the bottom where the root collar is. So you'll notice there's no bite marks down here. So no browsing on this one. Basil sprouting is when uh, the tree gets sick and it send up, sends up a shoot just from the bottom right here. And what it's trying to do is send up a new shoot because they think the main one's gonna die. And the last column on the data sheet is the comment section. So anything that's not covered by the measurements or the health assessment that we do, you'll note there. So for example, these leaves as you can see have insect holes. So in the comment section, you just write insect holes. And that is how you finish measuring a small tree.